Which meals are carbohydrates most important for? We all know that an appropriate carbohydrate intake is a non-negotiable if you are serious about your performance. But this fact is often at odds to some degree with the reality of needing to make weight for a fight and having to reduce total calorie intake in order to reduce your body fat as a part of this process. There may come a point where your weight loss stalls and if your protein and fat intakes are already at the minimum recommended amount, which would be about 2 grams per kilogram of your body weight for protein and about 0.5 grams per kilogram for fat, then the time may come where you need to reduce your carb intake in order to continue losing weight at your target rate. Now, that's fine. It's a reality of the situation. However, the key to doing this in a way that reduces the negative impact on your performance lies in which meals you reduce these carbohydrates from. The order of importance for carbohydrate timing goes like this. The first most important meal is your pre-training meal. The second is your post-training meal. Number three is your meal before your pre-training meal. And number four is your meal after your post-training meal. And finally, meals on rest days. This means that if carbohydrates need to be reduced, then we can start at 0.5, the least important time, and work back from there. That means that the most important meals for carbohydrate timing are preserved as long as possible. You could reduce calories and carbohydrates on rest days first. For most fighters who often train six days per week, this might not be enough of a reduction in total caloric intake to speed up the weight loss. So the next step would be addressing carbohydrate and calorie intake on training days. For example, a training day might look like this. Breakfast, lunch, training, dinner, and then a pre-bed meal. When reducing carbohydrates, here's the order in which we would do so. First, pre-bed, so your meal after your post-training meal. Number two, breakfast. This was your meal before your pre-training meal. Number three, dinner, your post-training meal. And finally, number four, lunch, your pre-training meal. Following it in this order, we would keep carbohydrates in the most important meals for as long as possible and therefore we'd preserve performance as much as possible. Total daily intakes are most important for all macronutrients, protein, carbs and fat, but being strategic with your carbohydrate timing can make the difference between feeling flat, slow and sluggish during training or still being able to pull a solid performance out of the bag each session whilst losing weight at your target rate which by the way should be about 0.5% of your body weight per week, ideally. For more information like this, check out the Fighter Nutrition course. Link is in my bio.